What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your black and white images stand out in Darktable. And this is the image that we will be working with today. I put the four modules that we're going to use in my favorites right here. Which is the split toning, the color contrast, the monochrome and the local contrast. If you don't see these modules over here, please go to more modules and find them in the list down below. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how this image looks if I'm just going to make it black and white. So I'm going to open the monochrome module and I'm going to activate it. And now the image is just black and white, pretty dull. You can decrease or increase the size of the circle by scrolling the mouse wheel button away or towards you. And if you move the circle to the right top, that means the emphasis will be on the skin tones. And if you move it to the green area, the emphasis will be on the shadow some more. But I want it to be exactly in the middle, so let me undo that real quick. There we go. So now the image is just black and white. I'm going to take a snapshot because I want to show you guys the difference before and after. So now we've got a snapshot of this black and white image. So I'm going to undo everything. I'm going to click on the original and I'm going to hit the compress history stack button. And now it's time to get to work on this image. The first module that we're going to use is the color contrast module. It allows you to switch between green and magenta and blue and yellow. And let me show you guys what happens. If I drag this all the way into the magenta, there you go, the face looks awful. Now watch me pull it all the way to the left. There you go, now her face is green. It looks like she's uh, ill or something. So I'm going to reset that, but now you guys know what this does to an image. And the key is to find the perfect balance. So I want to get some more color in her face as well. So I'm going to increase this like so. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow like so. Now watch the before, I'm going to switch off this module. So this is the before, her skin is a lot more pale. Now let me activate the module again. There you have it. Now her skin has got a lot more color to it. She looks a lot more healthier if you ask me. I'm going to close the color contrast and I'm going to open the local contrast and I'm going to activate it just to bring a subtle change but just a bit more contrast to her face. So let me close it down. Usually you see me use this on 150% but for this image I think it looks too strong as you can see right here. So I'm going to put it back on 120%. So let me close down that module and now the final module that we will be using before we are going to activate the monochrome module is the split toning module. You've seen me use this before and I'm going to use a preset. I'll link the video up here in which I show you guys how to do this and how to store a preset from this. But I'm going to this little symbol right here. I'm going to pick the orange and teal one. Now her face has changed and there's a bit of blue in the shadows. Now let me close down that module as well. And now let's open up the monochrome module and let's activate it. I'm going to decrease the circle just a little bit by scrolling the mouse wheel button away from me. Let me close down the monochrome module. And now let me take another snapshot. And let me show you guys the comparison with the original. So here we have the original image and now let me move the slider to the right to show you guys or to reveal to you guys how the image is turned out with all the modules activated. So that looks pretty cool if you ask me but now what I want to do is I want to show you guys the comparison with the monochrome. I'm going to activate my final layer. I'm going to click this first little snapshot right here. And now as you can see on the right side is the image as I've edited it before turning it black and white. And on the left side is the image if you just turn it black and white. And there's a huge difference if you ask me. There's not a lot of structure in her face, but with the edited version there is. So this is how you can get your black and white image to stand out in comparison to all the other black and white images that are available right now. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. There's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!